Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, we are live on location. You'll notice our background is a little different, plus our cup. We're not using our regular tasting cup. Um, just a regular rocks glass because I am not home. <laughs> All right. I am in South America somewhere, and this was my latest pickup. The selection of tequila here is not very large, and when people think about tequila in other places of the world besides Mexico and the States, really, they are thinking about Jose Cuervo. All right. Now, don't beat this one up. Why are we doing Jose Cuervo? A lot of people don't like Cuervo. However, Jose Cuervo is actually one of our favorite tequilas. The Reserva de la Familia line is absolutely incredible and definitely in the top three of my extra añejos with their Reposado and Blanco honestly being absolutely incredible and stunning. If you ever have a chance to try any of those, try those out. However, today is not about those. It is about this. I was able to find this bottle. Um, they definitely have the Cuervos that are made with agave, not 100%. This is their 100% Tradicional offering. And to be completely honest, this tequila is awesome. <laughs> now, you'll notice it is that wine-style bottle, all right? Something that really stands out here, the front label, Jose Cuervo Tradicional Tequila Reposado. But if you'll notice, 224 años. Kind of weird, such an odd year to put on the label. But if we come up here and see the embossment, 1795, that's when the distillery was established. And guess what? That was 224 years ago in 2019. All right, trying to do some math off the top of my head. If I got a bottle of this um, in 2018, the label would actually say 223 years. It's just a way of them to keep and showcase how long the distillery actually has been operating. All right. And as you can see, established 1795, the same as that embossment. So this 100% Agave Cuervo Tradicional is actually a phenomenal uh, budget tequila. I mean, back in the States, I want to say this is about... 20 bucks depending on where you are 15 to 25 i was able to get this bottle for equivalent to about 15 dollars, which is absolutely a steal um, tequila reposado you'll notice too since we are not in the states this was bottled at 38 percent alcohol which is very common it's not 40 percent 38 percent is very common outside of the states that bottle number wow that is a lot of bottles and taking a look on the back, let's see what it says. Just kind of a little bit about the process of how this was bottled. Uh, <clears throat> this Reposado was aged. I'm not 100% sure. If anybody does know how long this Reposado was aged, please put it down in the comments. You'll notice too that we got this sticker. Under 18, you can't drink. We are not in the States anymore. 18 is the legal age and drinking is dangerous. Don't drink too much, excessive alcohol is dangerous. So we're about to pour this up. The cap up here has our Crow, the Cuervo Crow, um, authentic brand. It is just a screw top on top, um, kind of embossed with that Crow, and again, the Cuervo. Looking here, it is that pour stop, so it doesn't allow for a super heavy pour. Gotta kind of give it a count, three, four, and that's about an ounce. Let's take a look. Kind of a straw color in the glass and in the bottle. Kind of that straw, golden straw color. Let's take a look, see if we can get some tears on this glass at all. Um, you could kind of see them in the background. For a reposado, there we go. For a reposado, those tears are kind of sticky. That is not, whoa, there they go. That means it's going to give us a really good mouth feel. Um, definitely smelling it off the top. A lot of agave. Wow. For a reposado, that is huge agave on the nose. Mm. 
Oh, I'm a huge fan of agave, the actual plant and eating it. Um, after it's roasted, it's incredible. And this just is a blast of agave to the nose. Let's take a sip. Mm. A little, a little bitey right up front, and it goes away to smoothness. Um, it is that 38%. I'm not sure if I would like to try this at 40%, but to have it at 38%, it's definitely a clean, clean, clean tequila. Has a great mouthfeel, very sticky. Mm. Definitely a lot of agave. You get a tiny hint of a uh, barrel on there. I couldn't imagine this being rested for very long. I'm not sure, but this is a great clean Reposado tequila. I would urge you, if you've heard horror stories of Jose Cuervo, this is not part of those, all right? Absolutely not. This is a great bottle. Um, we would absolutely keep a bottle of this at home for the price and to either sip and or mix. Uh, definitely a great value and we would encourage you if you'd get to try it, try it out. It might just change your mind about the brand. All right. Well, with that being said, we are done here. We appreciate you being with us. As always, please like and subscribe and also follow us on Instagram. Take care, everybody. Let your bottles pop and have a good one.